hello hello and welcome to another video now it is very hot outside and this is right here in the dashboard so hopefully we can get through this without it turning off but i'm going to like check on it periodically because it's literally in direct sunlight but i want to talk to you about this because this is a matter that the lord has been speaking to me about and i know as i have never heard it be talked about you probably never heard it be talked about just because we've never heard it being talked about doesn't mean that it's not important obviously a lot of things that god think is important we have simply left out because they are uncomfortable for us either they're for, they're uncomfortable for us to talk about or they're simply uncomfortable for us to practice so let me talk to you how the lord has been speaking to me this morning yesterday and since earlier on in the week um as i'm sitting here I hear the Lord saying to me, I told you seven days and seven days. So let's talk about the matter. Like I said, if you're not a woman, well, the likelihood of you needing to hear this conversation is not very likely, but I'll just leave that up to you to decide if this is something that you need to be listening to or not. Um, seven days. So we're talking about menstruation. I don't know how long your cycle is. And I have made a video for you guys a while ago. I'll try to link it. If you have very long cycles, very heavy cycles, and when I say cycle, I mean like period, menstruation, there's many different words for it. If you are bleeding um, for prolonged periods of time, well, we have another issue at hand and we really need to consult the Lord about this issue. You can consult your doctor if you wish to consult your doctor, but let me tell you something what the Lord showed me. That's that some of these issues that will come about, some of the reproductive issues that some of you all are having, that some that some of us have come about some of the issues that we're having they are a result of our own disobedience of your own disobedience they have not the doctor won't be able to do anything for you except pump you with a bunch of medicine that perhaps you never needed you needed the lord's divine instruction on how to get yourself out of some of the things that you're in okay so i'll say that um with that being said, like I said, I made videos for you guys talking about like hiding behind holistic practices and just some other things that the Lord has said about menstruation. He had never highlighted this to me, um, so I'm going to tell you about it today. Like I said, the Lord said seven days. Now, I don't know if you are like, you know, I'm going to keep my business. I'm going to keep it PG. But first of all, I'm not even talking to you if you're not married because you really shouldn't be having sex at all if you're not married. But let's, let me assume that you listening to me. Sorry, it's hot. So like I was saying, if you are not married and we're talking about things like um, sexual intimacy and things like that, well, it's obvious that I'm not talking to you. Okay, but let's take, for instance, the married couples. Now, if you're unmarried, like I said, and you think that you're in this category, well, you are in a whole different category and you need to also do a lot of repenting, but it's for other reasons. Um, sexual immorality is that means that that's a problem of yours because we shouldn't even be talking. I don't care if it was your boyfriend for 10 plus years. I don't care if you guys had some kind of spiritual wedding or all the kind of foolishness that people are talking about right now. I'm not talking about any of those things. So that should go without saying, but you would be surprised that it's not. So anyway, let's say you, you're married and you know, it, that time of the month comes. And yes, we're gonna have to have this conversation because like I said, it's something that the Lord brought to my attention. You know, that time of the month comes and perhaps you were so busy and you missed the day, you know, that you guys will usually be intimate before that time of the month actually happens. That time of the month comes and let's say your period is the normal four to five days, right? So after those four to five days, you're on day five and your husband's like, okay, you know, we did miss our day. Now we're on what? six days where we ain't did nothing and he lacks self-control and perhaps you do too and you can't wait for the time that the lord says and reminded me again that is that you are clean okay he said i said seven days tanzania so perhaps you guys are still dancing around like i said on that fifth day maybe that fifth night after things have lessened and lightened and there's no blood flowing and all that kind of stuff um you just decide to take it upon yourself you guys decide to take it upon yourself that you know the blood is stopped so it's time to do our do um the lord says that this is not so 
and i will highlight for you because he bought me to um the fact that this was actually outlined in his word and that was leviticus i'm going to put i believe it was a leviticus to chapter 15 but i'm going to put the scriptures for you on the screen i am not going to highlight for you all of the laws because as i was driving just a second ago the lord showed me you know people will say things like the marriage bed is undefiled but then they'll take out the scriptures that the lord actually shows us what defiles the body and over what defiles the body what defiles his word okay and i know some people are gonna say you know that's the old testament you're being so religious and i have something to tell you for that as well for those of you who like to take that stance um that religion this was what the holy spirit was telling me this morning religion um creates for us us humans who like to push the boundaries religion creates for us you know within a healthy sense um boundaries that we should not be crossing over okay that's what religion does so i'm not here to debate why the lord gave moses these laws to lay out for the people i'm not here to debate that that's not it's not up for me to debate it's the word of god and either we're going to take it for what it says or we're going to do our own thing and that'll be up to you but i'm going to go ahead and tell you that it is very clearly outlined that there is a seven day period and like I said, I was asking the Lord, like, you know, just more about it. And I urge you to do the same thing. Like, what do you mean? And, and he's telling me, Tanzania, that seven is um, the mark of purification. And you say to yourself, well, why does something need to be purified? Well, something would need to be purified if there are impurities inside of it only the lord knows what these impurities are it's not for me to be debating it's really not for any of us to be debating but i will tell you this this is a warning from the lord this is what the lord says to me um like i said i've been speaking to the lord about this matter he has been speaking to me about it all week long and that is that if you find yourself to be one of these people where you are practicing this act of laying with your husband during the time of your cycle even if it is shortly after you are out of line and i want you to go ahead and read the scriptures as it relates to this being totally out of line there is a time that is set aside that should be that you should be separate from your spouse for specific reasons all those reasons are made known to us you know um especially in the old testament the lord would say something and say i'm the lawyer god meaning uh, this is just what i said to do and there's no don't ask me no questions about it and i don't know about you but i'm gonna take the lord at his word i'm not gonna ask too many questions about it but in me not asking any questions i can tell you this that when i read through those read through that entire chapter i want you to go and read through that entire entire chapter this was a chapter talking about health and cleanliness and things of that nature and some of these laws were created you know god is God is sovereign and there's a reason why he's highlighted even this in this season. I'm telling you, the amount of people who are going to pop up here with all kind of STDs, you guys are seeing it now, this sexually transmitted ringworm and all this kind of stuff. This is just yet the tip of the iceberg and some of you guys will find yourself as um casualties for some of these diseases and just things that are literally about to make a scene. And I'm telling you right now, it's because of some of the things that you're practicing. So you're going to hear me say this. You're going to hear me say, you know, you shouldn't be sleeping with anyone. You should, Not even your husband. Now, your husband should be the only one you're sleeping with. But I have to say not even your husband because you know how y'all out here are dealing. You should not be laying down with anyone when there is a vaginal discharge. And the vaginal discharge that we're talking about right now is one of blood. Okay. There's a period of time and that you should be separated. And if you lack self-control that much that you're willing to want to bend the laws of God, well, there's a whole different conversation that we need to come up on. But don't be surprised when some of these things come knocking at your door and nobody can help you with it. Not even the doctors will be able to help you guys, us. I say us because we all live in this world together with some of the things that are about to hit the scene. And I'm telling you, the Lord has been speaking to me. I watched again, I watched back the video because the Lord highlighted this to me. The video I made about plastic surgery, in that video I highlighted for you something that the Lord was talking about as far as sicknesses, um, illnesses. And there was another video when I said, uh, I was talking about if God showed you, you wouldn't believe, um, where he was highlighting um, sores that he showed me. Um, and this morning he told me to come and tell you about laying down with your husband during the time 
of mystery shit. And I know people are doing the craziest things. You telling yourself, you know, you just lay down a towel, girl. I've heard some of the conversations. Just lay down a towel and this and that. But you're leaving out the fact that God says simply don't do an act because it's unclean. We're not going to leave those things out. And I urge you, while you go look that up, I want you to look up all of the other things. So um, a man laying with a man, a woman laying with a woman. If you have ever at any point in time participated in any of these things, a man a man even laying a man laying with a man as with a woman so that means i want you to think we're keeping the pg here even the acts that men and men do together when they're laying together if a man has performed those type of acts on you so at so backdoor activity like i said keeping the pg here um these are things that we definitely need to need to bring to the lord in prayer need to repent of because the lord says that these things are abominations that they're that they're defiling the body um, I talk about masturbation a lot is one of them. If this is something that you participate in, I'm speaking to the women here, but also to the men, because this spirit can be at work in the men as well. Um, you know that there is um, a marine spirit at work in your life. And you bet, you like right now, while you have the time, while you have the chance, you need to get yourself unraveled. Because when the judgment comes for all who are participators, so even if you participated in the act and you didn't know, oh, you know, he been my boyfriend for X, Y, and Z. If you're participating in the act, when the judgment is, you know, strewn about the land for the act, well, you'll be taken down with it. So I am blessed that the Lord is sending these messages to me, giving me these warnings. And I am even more blessed to be able to talk to those of you who will listen. And I never come to you from some high off place, like I said, thinking that I'm above, you know, reproach and correction. I don't believe that. I am open for the Lord to correct me at any point in time. And the fact that I was able to open up the scriptures, actually having read the scriptures before and not have the Lord speak directly to me about a matter as it relates to, you know, like as it relates to something like this, he's like, it's already lying out of my word. You ain't supposed to be doing it. Okay, there's a set amount of time that you need to lay aside when things like that is going on. Okay, all right. I'm just saying, I'm. do you listen to me? You listen to me or you don't listen to me, girl. I have seen it. I've seen it in the dreams. I have seen it. I have seen, you know, the people hopping off the tables, the doctor's visits, people can't figure out what's going on. I have seen it. So I'm just here, you know, just as warning somebody like i would have wanted somebody to give me the warnings too i want somebody to give i would have wanted somebody to give me the warnings, the same ones that i'm giving to you so i'm telling you like this is the season right now right here right now that your house had better be in order but if you know that it's out of like you know the place like you are let's talk about i guess we just got a little time um i got so i had a gift they, I got a gift yesterday, and one of the gifts was like gummy bears. I'm gonna show you this little bag. This little bag, like this, it was gummy bears, like the big kind, you know, the Haribo gummy bears, and they're my favorite. I absolutely love them. Yesterday, I permitted myself to eating some of those gummy bears after I blessed them, because is that still the thing? We're still eating food that we're not praying over. We're still giving our children food that we're not praying over. That's not a thing. Like I'm telling you, this stuff like this, absolutely not absolutely not to eat food without saying a blessing over the food without saying grace over the food without it's just it's oh god help us anyway i um i had some gummy bears and yesterday i permitted myself to eating gum, the gummy bears in the celebration you know exciting da, da, da. um today i wanted to eat those gummy bears again you know what i did i stopped by the trash can i stopped by the dumpster then went outside and threw those gummy bears away um because there is a lack there is a level of self-control that in this season is going to be required of you to not get tripped up on just some very basic things you would think that they're very simple very basic okay some of the things we never heard of because when have you heard people teaching and preaching in the pulpit about not you know having intimate relations on your period and things like that even though it's outlined in the bible and you can say it's the old testament it's the old testament but that'll be on you okay that'll be on you i'm gonna take the lord's warning and i'm gonna take his word all the way through and if he says it's there go and read it and let it teach you a thing or two that's what i'll do 
I would do that as it relates to any anything that you practice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am running out of time. But anything that you practice, this is another thing that I'm going to bring to your attention, that the Lord has brought to my attention even today. That is um, practices like go and get your hair done. I can, I'm going to have to sit down and do a full video on how the Lord, what the Lord has been speaking to me about the getting your hair done and all those kind of things. In this season, how you spend your money, so getting your nails done, this is regular nail lacquer. As you can see, it's chipping, okay? Getting your nails done, getting your toes done, all of these like spa-like practices, you know, you just love to, oh, it's my self-care, I have to pamper myself. I'm telling you, it's not the time. It's not the time. And then some of you guys will get these services and you won't even, you know, pray a prayer as these people are clipping off your DNA, your nails, your toenails, your DNA inside these things and putting them wherever, sometimes putting them, putting them on altars to their gods. You don't know about this stuff because nobody talks about this stuff, but God speaks about the things that nobody speaks about. So going and, you know, like I said, getting your nails clipped off and these people putting your toenails. And I'm not just saying these people as in people from the Asian community. I'm talking about, I'm talking about all, all people. You don't know who's doing it. Or go and get your hair braided from these people who are clearly sorcerers, clearly witches. Go and get your hair braided. You know, the hair, you just pull the hair and your DNA on the hair. You know what people can do with your hair, with your DNA? You go and stay at people's houses while you're on, you know, your period and things like that. Even working jobs while you're on your period. And you just so casually just throwing your tampons and stuff in the trash. Not knowing that some of the cleaning people who come through to clean up there, they have a very clear intentions on what they want to do with female blood, especially from during that time. All spells that they'll put on people. Like, this is not the stuff that people are talking about, but this is the stuff that's really going on. This is the stuff that's going on. And, and don't... Don't ever get it twisted for a second. It's uncomfortable, uncomfortable for me to talk about as well. But sure as the Lord has set me free, thank you, Holy Spirit. Sure as the, as the Lord has delivered me from some things. And when if somebody would have talked to me like this when I was in those things, I would have been like, surely this is... This, I know this is what I'm dealing with right now, but surely these things only happen in like cartoons. Can I tell you that I've seen the things with my actual eyes? with my own eyes and not only with my own eyes but with the eyes of my spiritual understanding the lord has allowed me to see some things and i know it was not just for no reason it was to be able to come here and tell you the real like this in this season i'm telling you if you have not read your bible in years you have better crack that bible open like you crack open that instagram app and you better get to knowing the god of this bible for real like this season like now like today like today, get to knowing him, get to knowing how he talks, get to knowing how he, you know, relates to humanity, just get to know him. So when somebody tries to serve you something up on the platter, you know, well, that's not coming from this guy of the Bible. The, magic, the amount of magic and witchcraft and stuff that people are into, like, it will literally blow your mind if the Lord actually showed you some of the things that people will try to drag you into and then some of the same things that you're simply in. People giving you gifts and I just couldn't imagine, you know, even doing something like going to, you know, the gynecologist, since we're talking about periods and things like that, going to the gynecologist, saying no prayer, saying no blessing. Someone's literally sticking something. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me for what I have to say here. Literally, you know, sticking something in your private privates, taking out your DNA of such, such a, such an intimate part of you touching such an intimate part of you touching such such intimate areas and we say no blessing and i tell you i went to i had a, i told you guys this i shared it in the freemason video oh my god I'm running out of time right out of time shared the freemason video i went to you know i was having i was in some pain and the lord of course um let me know exactly why i was it was because because he wanted me to give that message he wanted me to actually experience what these people go through in the fraternity like i said i'll link that video the doctor then tells me you know you when's the last time you got your annual you when you're feeling a little better come back and schedule that you know you should schedule it with us and i said oh okay and i didn't think nothing on it, of it i went to bed that, that night and had a dream of a man literally trying to perform he was performing like you know what an annual annual women's you know what it is like i don't have to get all into it. you know what it looks like this man was performing this annual thing 
I would say on me, but on the person in the dream with such pleasure. And I thought to myself, oh, okay. And I talked to God about it. And I'm like, okay, I see what's going on here. And I'm not going to lay it all out for you. But you don't know people's intentions. We're humans. We do not know people's intentions. So the most foolish thing that you could do is not sit with on a daily basis the God who knows the intentions of everyone that you will encounter. And on that note, I am out of time. And I'll see you guys in the next video.